Hey guys, I am talking you, to you today about um, heart rates and specifically your heart rate when you are running in the deep water. A lot of people will say, athletes especially, oh I tried that, I couldn't get my heart rate up. Well, let me explain it to you. When you are running on land, this is the best way for me to describe it, when you're running on land, your heart is pumping boom, 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 okay? When you are in the deep water and you're running at the same exertion level, the hydrostatic pressure, which is the water pressure on your body, is actually pushing all this blood up to your heart, okay? Your heart physically can't pump it out as fast as when it's on land. So when on land, your heart rate's going boom, 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 boom. In water, same exertion because of all that extra blood that's being pushed up to your heart, your heart rate's going boom, boom, slower. So what you need to know, and ideally you wear a heart rate monitor because that's the best indication of your heart rate. But without that, and even with that, you add 10 to 10 to 15 beats to whatever number you're seeing on your watch. In your lower aerobic zones, you add 10. In your higher aerobic zones, like say, uh, you know 160 170 you add 15 all right and without that you can do a heart rate check we do them during our workouts where you say start counting now you count six seconds you add a zero and again remember when you're in your lower aerobic zones kind of like a, a more of a moderate pace you'll add 10 to that number zero plus 10 and in the higher zones 15. hope that makes sense